accuracy, a few other considerations that we can do so that our time is saved during the OPCs. The first is a set of aliases that we can use so that we can type FS instead of synchro show. This will reduce the number of each stroke that we need to cross. To create all these aliases, we will go into the bash RC file inside the home directory. I will recommend creating a backup of this file if you're not sure how this file works in case you make some breaking changes. In here, we will create these aliases SS equals synchro show, SC equals synchro events, and triple S for synchro status. This will let us check our status, and these are for showing the question and evaluating the answer. If I go into one of the questions here now, I can simply press SS and see the problem statement. After I have created the solution, I can simply press SE and I can verify that it is working on. This lets us quickly iterate over our solutions. So let's say I make some mistakes here. When I do SE, I get mismatching output. I can then again fix the script. And I can do SE and verify that the solution is now correct. You can also do triple S to see all our submissions. The next set of utilities is a function to see the evaluation script and a function to see the public test cases. As you already know, the questions are always placed in the folder slash opc slash se2001 and then in there in a folder with the same name as the question, which is going to be the same name as our current working directory if we are inside our solution folder. And then the evaluation script is named evaluation file.sh and the test cases are present in a folder called public and then each test case has its folder and in each folder we have two files input.csv and output.cfc. Here we are using the command substitution to call the base name command on the pwd command. The pwd command will print our full working directory whereas the base name command will take only the last part after the last slash which is the name of the question. So with that if we do slash opt slash sc2001 and then we put this command substitution. So this will now show you the evaluation file. To make this look prettier we can use bat cat instead of cat. So this is what we are going to put in the function. Similarly, we will have another function for the public test cases, which will print all the available test cases for that question. After making changes to your bash RC, make sure you actually close the bash RC file so that the new updated bash RC is in your current terminal. Now here, I can do ES to see my evaluation script for this question. You may not always want to read the entire script, but sometimes it is important to see how your script is being called. For example, in this case, you can see that your script.scd is being called with the input directly sent as the standard in. And then its output is is differentiated with the expected output. Similarly, I can do PTC to see all the test cases. For example, this is test case 1 and this is the output of the test case 1. Similarly, this is test case 2 and the output of the test case 3. The next useful function is function that will create a script automatically. So most of our questions will always have to create a script.sh, a script.scd, or a script.op file. Instead of creating it manually one by one and then making it executable using ch module plus x, we can create a small function that will always create this script automatically. We can provide a file name as the first argument. However, if we don't provide a file name, it will by default create a script.sh. So this is the default substitution that we have learned and we're setting a variable file which will be the first argument but if it is not present then script.sh then we will check if the file is already present if it is already present we don't want to uh, override that file we will simply open that file however if it is not already present then we will also see the extension of that file if it is .sh or .bash we will actually add a shebang of bash whereas if it is .awk then we will add a shebang for .gawk and if it is .sed we will add a shebang for .sed this will again save our time so that we don't actually have to type the shebang ourselves I have also added a pi but it is not applicable for our course in system commands. This is done using the shell uh, switch case. And then finally, we use shell bang into the files. In the end, we do a ch mod so that it is executable. Most of us actually forget this step and then we have to get the error to realize that. But this will ensure we don't ever have to do it by ourselves. Finally, if you are using nano, you can change this to nano. Or if you are using vim, you can make it vim, which will open the file in your command line exit directions. So now, if I have this script.set, if I just do str script.set, it will open the script.set directly without making any changes. However, if I, let's say, don't have this script.sh and I just do SCR, it will open a new script.sh that has this bash shebang.
while solving the assignments or especially during the OCTs, we might not have the time to create all the folders in our SE2001 folder. This can be done automatically by using this create function. Here we are using the find on OPT SE2001 with a min depth of 1 and a max depth of 1. This is similar to doing LF which, which will just show these folders in the current directories. We have set type D to only list folders that are present in the OPT SE2001 folder. There is also a folder called dot git but we don't want that so we just remove that using grep minus v then this will give you a full path but we only want the name of the folders so we run it through base name i use fsabs to pass each of them into base name finally we want each of those folder names to be created as a new folder in your home se2001 so we are using mkdir minus p the minus p will suppress any errors if the folder is already present it will simply do nothing if the folder is already present so then the folders will be automatically created let us see that so here currently let's say i remove this sample folder so now you can see we don't have the sample folder i simply type create the sample folder is automatically created not just this but any folder that is not present here which is present in the opt se2001 will automatically be created if we use the create function Because file scripts are not a properly compiled program, we sometimes do not get error messages or warning messages like in other programming languages. This leads to bad practices. Even if the code works, as you can see here, the code works for this LPP 2.1.1.4, which asks us to get the users from the groups and then find their user ID from the password file. However, our code is actually not the perfect. For example, we are actually catting the group file and then passing it into op, which makes no sense because the op command can directly take a file. So catting the uh, group and then passing it into off as stdn is actually slower however there is no one to tell us whether it is right or wrong we still have the shell check command which is a program that you can install in your system it is also installed in the opp vms and if you pass the script.sh to the shell check command this will tell you that your cat is useless instead of using cat you can directly give the file to the command so let us make those changes now and now the code still works as usual however as you can see now our code follows the best practices so this is how you can find errors in your logic or errors in your syntax when using shell sets inside the virtual machine